How to make friends. Tips on meeting people and building friendships. Good friendships improve all aspects of your life, providing com comfort and joy, strengthening your health, providing companionship, and preventing loneliness and isolation. As we age, many of us struggle to make new friends or maintain old friendships. Work, family, and other commitments can all get in the way. While making and keeping friends requires effort, it's an investment that will make your life richer and more pleasurable. Whatever your age or circumstances, it's never too late to make new friends or reconnect with old ones. What is a friend? Simply, a friend is someone you care about who also cares about you. Technology may have shifted the definition of friend in recent years, but having hundreds of online friends is not the same as having a friend you can connect and be with in person. Technology can fac facilitate social opportunities by helping you reconnect with old friends, start new relationships with people around the world who share similar interests, and maintain relationships with friends who don't live nearby. However, online friends can hug you, can't hug you when a crisis hits, visit you when you're sick, or celebrate a happy occasion with you after work. Friends versus acquaintances or online friends. Sometimes it can be difficult to different, differentiate between real friends and mere acquaintances. An acquaintance is someone you exchange small talk with as you go about your day, chat jokes or insights with online, or chat about sports within a bar. While most of these relationships will never progress beyond an acquaintance level with effort, real friendships can blossom from online con contacts. People you meet on social media sites or from neighborhood or work acquaintances. A friend is someone who shares a deeper level of interaction interaction or communication with you. He or she is someone you can really connect with. Face to face, a friend is someone you feel comfortable sharing your feelings with. Someone who will listen to you without judging you or telling you how you should think or feel. As friendship works both ways, a friend is also someone you feel comfortable, supporting and accepting, and someone with whom you sh with, wh with whom you share a bond of trust and loyalty. What to look for in a friend? A good friend will show a genuine interest in what's going on in your life, what you have to say and how you think and feel about things. A good friend will accept you for who you are and listen to you attentively without judging you or trying to change the subject. A good friend will act in a trustworthy and loyal way and will feel comfortable sharing things about themselves with you. If a person is controlling towards you, overly critical, selfish, abuses your generosity, or or brings unwanted danger, drama, or negative influences into your life. It may be the sign of an unhealthy friendship. A good, a good friendship is not dependent on the use of drugs or alcohol, and does not require you to always agree with the other person. Why friends are important? The need for friends is instinctual. 
our survival once depended on having friends to hunt and find food with, to help us build shelter and keep our family safe, and for companionship. Today, good friends are just as important. They add a special meaning to life. They help you enjoy the good times and overcome the difficult ones. While strong relationships with friends can be a huge source of fun and pleasure, they are also important for your physical and emotional health. Good friends can improve your mood. Happiness can be infectious. Spending time with happy and positive friends can ele ele elevate your mood and boost your outlook. Help you to reach your goals. Whether you're trying to get fit, give up smoking, or otherwise improve your life, encouragement from a friend can really boost your willpower and increase your chances of success. Reduce your stress and depression. Having an active social life can bolster your immune system and help reduce isolation, a major contributing factor for depression. Support you through tough times. Even if it's just having someone to share your problems with, friends can help you cope with serious illness, the loss of a job or loved one, the breakup of a relationship or any other challenge in life. Support you as you age, as you age, retirement, illness, and the death of loved ones can often leave you isolated. Having people you can turn to for company and support can provide a purpose as you age and be a buffer against depression, disability, hardship, and loss. Staying socially engaged as you age keeps you feeling positive and boosts your happiness. Of course, Friendship is a two-way street. Being a good friend to someone brings them all of the above benefits and boosts your own happiness and sense of self-worth in the process. It also makes you feel needed and adds purpose to your life. While developing and ma maintaining a friendship takes time and effort. The many benefits of having a close friend make it a valuable investment. Making new friends as an adult. When we're young children, many of us seem to have little trouble making new friends. Kids tend to bond quickly, but as we age, friendships grow and develop differently. As adults, we tend to become more guarded with new people and have less time to devote to friendships. Consequently, most of us find it much harder to make new friends. If you've never experienced a close friendship, even as a child, you may find it even harder as an adult. But we all need and want good friends, even those of us who may sometimes pretend otherwise. Why you might want to make new friends? You may find that it's time to make new friends if commitments such as work, romantic relationships, or family have caused you to lose touch with existing friends. Exciting ex existing friends or your old friendships may have simply faded over time as interests and circumstances in your life changed. Other reasons why you may want to make new friends, you've recently moved to a new area, you've retired or changed or lost your job. You've recently divorced or finished a long-term relationship. You are an older, you are an older adult, and friends have died or moved away, or you've lost mobility, and maintaining a social network has become more challenging. You're shy or suffer from social anxiety and feel that it's impossible for you to meet new people and develop friendships. You've rarely or never experienced close friendships before in your life and are unsure what to look for. 
No matter your age or situation, you don't have to be an extrovert or the life of the party to make new friends. It's important to realize there are plenty of other people out there who feel just as awkward about meeting new people as you do. And remember, close friendships aren't formed overnight. They take time to build for anyone. By simply being willing to put yourself in a new environment, however, you can meet interesting new people and take the first step to building a friendship. Attachment and relationships. How you bonded with a parent or a caretaker as an infant will determine how you relate to others as an adult. Those who experienced confusing emotional communications during infancy other often grow into adults who have difficulty understanding their own emotions and the feelings of others. This limits your ability to build or maintain successful friendships. Read attachment and adult relationships. How to make friends and build friendship and build friendships tip one. Where to meet people. Close relationships don't happen overnight, but there are steps you can take to help you connect with others and make friends. When looking for places to meet new people, try to be open to new ideas and cultivate an interest in other people, their lives and their stories. Not everything you try will be successful, but you will often have fun and learn from the experience. Volunteering can be a great way to help others while also meeting new people. Volunteering also gives you the opportunity to re regularly practice and develop your social skills. Take a class or join a club to meet people with common interests, such as a book group, book group, dinner club, a, or a sports team. Websites such as Meetup com can help you find local groups or start your own and connect with others who share similar interests. Walk a dog. It's good exercise for you, great fun for the animal, and an excellent way to meet people. Dog owners often stop and chat while their dogs sniff or play with each other. If dog ownership isn't right for you, Volunteer to walk dogs from a shelter or a local rescue group. Invite a neighbor or work colleague for a drink or to a movie. Lots of other people feel just as uncomfortable about reaching out and making new friends as you do. Be the one to break the ice. Your neighbor or colleague will thank you later. Track down old friends via social media sites. Make the effort to reconnect and then turn your online friends into real-world friends by meeting up for coffee instead of chatting on Facebook or Twitter. Connect with your alumni association. Many colleges have alumni associations that meet regularly. You already have the college experience in common. Talking about old times, talking about Old times can be an easy conversation starter. Some as associations also sponsor community ser service events or workshops, workshops where you can meet more people. Carpool to work. Many companies offer carpool programs. If your employer doesn't, simply ask your colleagues if they would like to share rides. It's a good conversation starter and will help you connect to people who live near you as well as save on trans transport costs. Attend art gallery openings, book readings, lectures, music recitals, or other community events where you can meet people with similar interests. Check with your library or local paper for events near you. How to make friends and build friendships tip 2. Engage in conversation. 
Some people seem to instinctively know how to start a conversation with anyone in any place, be it a party, bar, health club, the checkout line, a crowded elevator, or on public transport. If you're not one of these lucky types, don't despair. Here are some easy ways to engage in conversation with someone new. Remark on the surroundings or occasion. If you're at a party, for example, you could comment on the venue, the catering, or the music in a positive way. I love this song. The food's great. Have you tried the chicken? Or that's a great view. Ask an open-ended question, one that requires more than just a yes or no answer. Adhere to the journalist's credo and ask a question that begins with one of the five W's, or one H, who, where, when, what, why, or how. For example, who do you know here? Where do you normally go on a Friday? When did you move here? What keeps you busy? Why did you decide to become a vegetarian? How is the wine? Most people enjoy talking about themselves, so asking a question is a good way to get a conversation started. Use a compliment, for example. I really like your purse. Can I ask where you got it? Or you look like you've done this before. Can you tell where I have to sign in? Note anything you have in common and ask a follow-up question. I play golf as well. What's your favorite local course? My daughter went to that school too. How does your son like it? Keep the conversation going with small talk. Don't say something that's obviously provocative and avoid heavy subjects such as politics or religion. Stick to light subjects like the weather, surroundings, and anything you have in common such as school, movies, or sports teams. Listen effectively. Listening is not the same as waiting for your turn to talk. You can't concentrate on what's, what someone's saying if you're forming what you're going to say next. One of the keys to effective communication in any situation is to focus fully on the speaker and show interest in what's been said. Not occasionally. Smile at the person and make sure your posture is open and inviting. Encourage the speaker to continue with small verbal cues like yes or uh-uh. If things don't work out, don't beat yourself up if the conversation stalls or ends sooner than you'd like. Not everyone you approach will be receptive to starting a conversation, let alone becoming friends. Just like dating, meeting new people inevitably comes with some element of rejection. Don't take it personally. The other person may be having a good day having a bad day, or just not be in the mood to talk. Don't dwell on the experience. Even if you say something you regret, for example, it's unlikely that the other person will remember it after a short time. Stay positive. Refrain from labeling yourself a failure or from telling yourself that you'll never be able to make friends. Learn from the experience and try it again. Practice starting a conversation with customer service people. Most people in the service industry are very social and will welcome small talk. Practice your conversation starters on a friendly cashier, receptionist, <coughs> waiter, 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 hot, hotess, or salesperson. How to make friends and build friendships Tip 3. Be a good friend. Remember that making a, good, making a friend is just the beginning of the journey into friendship. Friendships take time to form and even more time to deepen. In 
order to move from acquaintance acquaintance to friend, you need to nurture that new connection. It's a process that requires time, effort, and a genuine interest in the other person. Be the friend that you would like to have. Treat your friend just as you want them to treat you. Be reliable, thoughtful, trustworthy, and willing to share yourself and your time. Invest in the friendship. No friendship will flourish without regular attention. Find things you enjoy doing with your friend and commit the time to do them, even when you're busy or stressed. Give your friend space. Don't be too clingy or needy. And be sure not to abuse your friend's generosity. Everyone needs space to be alone or spend time with other people as well. Don't set too many rules and expectations. Instead, allow your friendship to evolve naturally. You are both unique individuals, so your friendship probably won't develop exactly as you expect. Be forgiving. No one is perfect, and every friend will make mistakes. No friendship develops smoothly, so when there's a bump in the road, try to find a way to overcome the problem and move on. It will often deepen the bond of friendship between you. Emotional intelligence. Free toolkits helps you.